Galvanized water pipe, whether it be under the ground or under the house, most of the galvanized water pipe is from an older home, say um, 30 year, 30 year range plus, plus or minus, um, and sometimes 40, 50, and I have seen it. I'm not sure what, what the, um, when this stuff was created, but um, if you, if you run across a piece somehow in the yard, occasionally, every so often, one might want to say, try to save money, money might be tight or something, and you don't want to replace the whole water line, so you're joining two pieces of pipe together, you can use a fitting like this. I'm not certain if it's a compression fitting. This end will screw off, this end will screw off, but when you do the galvanized pipe, be, be aware that you do need to have the edges like with a side grinder and make sure the edges are smooth because if you break this rubber piece inside here this rubber piece um helps make the seal and if and if you take and if it has any burrs on it if it's not it, and if it's not deburred then at this particular point this water this this it will cut the rubber and the rubber will not hold a tight fit or a tight hold so um again this is a fitting i think they make these for half inch um three quarters of an inch they pro I, i'm assuming they probably make them and if I, it's been a long while since i've actually installed one of these but i think you actually turn the nuts let's see it's hard to say but in one direction and then the the other nut i think the nuts go in different directions so you would have to take a pipe wrench on one side and then a pipe wrench on the other side and turn in opposite directions to tighten down but again when you when you use this be sure that the end of your pipe is deburred because if it doesn't it's going to ruin this fitting here so um and uh, not many of these are used anymore, but there are uh, extenuating circumstances and situations where when money's tight and you want to join two pieces of copper, it's a good way to do it. And um, and so you just have to get it good and tight on both sides so you could use galvanized and galvanized. But if you can find a threaded area, this is on a flat, flat area, if you can find a threaded area, one would be, in my opinion, would be better off to take a a uh, uh, a fitting and put into the fitting, and then transition it to PEX pipe or or copper or whatever you want to do. Um, I, I I I love PEX pipe, but that's just just because I love it doesn't mean um, it's the um, the gold standard. So, but anyway, um, a fitting to um, connect a piece of galvanized water pipe. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.